Hi everyone, this is John Dickinson from Motionworks.net, back with a short Cinema 4D tutorial for you. I'm just in the middle of modeling this split ring. This is part of the keychain that's part of the detail for the hot rod that I've been modeling in my spare time. And I've been working through this and I thought it'd probably be a good idea just to record a quick tutorial to show you my workflow. I haven't quite finished it yet. This is where I got up to. And this is the example that I'm using as reference. And you'd think this would be fairly straightforward, but of course, a split ring has this bend and uh, I racked my brain on a few ways to do this. I tried a few deformers and in the end I worked out a way of doing it just by selecting points and rotating them. So let's take a look at how that's done. And if you have a better way to do it, please let me know. I'm all ears. So I'm just going to hide that one and I'm going to start from scratch. So of course I'll use a helix object to start. And all I want to do here is adjust the height and I really need to see the geometry first before I do that. So I'm going to do this quickly by using HB Modeling Tools Pipette. With the helix selected, just clicking. And that creates my sweep. And you can see, and you can see it's sweeping the end side along the helix. So now I can come back to the helix and just adjust the height. The end side might need to be a little bit wider. Just increase the radius. Probably something like that. Maybe one more like that. Okay, so now just adjust the height. I'm going to squish this down a little bit later. I just don't want it touching. Maybe just touching. Okay, something like that. All right, so if we look at the reference... We've got this bend and it comes out straight and then it bends diagonally and then goes back in straight. So it doesn't just come diagonal all the way. So there's a little kink in there. So I need to consider how to create that. So first of all, I'll just save this just by control dragging and just hit the C key to collapse that down. Okay, double click. Just come in closer, double click. I'm going to use HB delete to delete the points and the edges at the same time. Okay, something like that. All right, so now I want to bend this in. So let's work out what needs to be selected. That'll keep that straight. Is that the center? That is the center, isn't it? Actually, I want to just select that one there as well. I think this should be right. Just like that. Okay, now I want to rotate this in. R for rotate. Now currently it's rotating from the center here of the selected points. So I want to just hold down the L key. That's just going to toggle on the enable access option. Just come over here and I'm just going to click in the middle there, let go of the L key. Now rotate on the Y and just bring that across a little bit. I'm just going to eyeball this, just bring it across probably halfway. Something like that. UI to select the inverse. I just want to get rid of that selection there. Okay. That's better. Not too far. I could probably do this mathematically, but I think that's probably close enough. Now, edge mode. It's going to dissolve that one. That's pretty good, isn't it? So by rotating, by rotating from that point there, I haven't messed up any of the curvature. And it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to double click these. D. Just 
holding down shift to constrain that to 90. Okay, I'm going to close it up by using HB make quads. It's only going to do one at a time. Let me just grab that. Make quads. You can see how useful HB modeling tools is. Now I probably wouldn't need to drop this into a subdivision surface. If I did, that's how it would look. I mean those edges, those ends, sorry, those caps look okay, but I could always just come in and add a control cut. Like that. Means I'd have to add one in here too. Like that. Not sure whether subdivision surface is necessary. Now, if I wanted to squish this a little bit, you can see from my reference, it is actually slightly squished. Then I could just select everything, select the object, T, and just scale that in. I think it probably does work better if it's subdivided, but not by that much. At the moment it's way too much. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and I'm going to click on HB Divider and that's just going to decrease the subdivisions. Probably come in to edge mode. Slide and just slide that back up. It's too too close. UB, ring select, MM, MM, edge cut. And that rounds that a little bit better. Might be nice just to give these caps a little bit of a bevel. If I dissolve that, KL, something like that. That looks better, doesn't it? Probably want to also just select this here, MW, like that. Obviously, this split ring is going to be very small in the scene, something like, you know, probably never get any closer than that. So you hardly even notice that. And looking at this now, from a distance, it might not be quite thick enough. Maybe, maybe not. Might have to go back and just make that a little bit thicker, but uh, the workflow will be exactly the same. For now, this is John from MotionWorks.net. Have fun, be creative, and I'll see you in another tutorial.